what's up people, Dobbs Rules this right here and welcome to a special video. Now I sent you guys in a poll that a lot of you may not know me as anything else. A lot of you know me by back of my tie or damn me down nay, whatever you want to call me. I don't mind people calling me that but really my real name on this channel is Dobbs Rules. You guys can call me Dobbsy, you can call me DR, I do not mind. But one thing I want you guys to know is like everybody asks me the same questions. Do you play this? Do you play that? Can you do this on the stream? Can you do this on the stream? Can you do that? Can you do this? Can you do that? I don't have eight legs or eight arms to do the same thing in videos. I understand that a lot of people, you guys, love these particular games. But for me and my channel, it's like I have to have my own cognitive way of thinking. And I have to put my foot down on some things. So I compiled 10 things that I you'll never, that pretty much you'll never see on this channel at most, unless somebody donates me, I don't know how much money, if they want me to really do this. So pretty much, if you guys want to try and play these games, you better donate crap ton of money for me to do it, because any other way, I'm not doing it. But first off, I'm going to mention a few little things. They're not in the top 10, but they may come to this channel, but not as a full series, maybe as like a once in a lifetime and then that's it. Pretty much the first thing is handheld games consoles. Now, Nintendo DS, the Game Boy and all that lot, I get it. It's a fantastic console. I really do love the handheld console stuff. Like the Nintendo DS, the Wii, the PSP, not the Wii, the Nintendo DS, the PSP, the PSP Vita. But a lot of them games are quite rare, but also it is terrible trying to film it from the actual console itself. It's not professional and I don't want to do that for you, to you guys. I really don't want to do that. Even though I do have some consoles that can play Game Boy games and PSP games, which is fine and dandy, I can try and do that way. But this time being, I can't because, number one, I'm still inside. The lockdown hasn't finished yet. And also, I don't have my Algaso yet. I still need to call my friend so I can get it back off him. There's that. The last thing to mention is Manhunt. Not Manhunt, I keep messing up the word. Hitman, the Hitman series. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Hitman, I really do. It's a great game, I love it to death. But I'm terrible at it. I am I can t have my hands up right there and then. I am absolutely garbage at it. I can't even finish the game, I can't even do the first or the second mission. From the first game, the second game, even including the third game, and even the brand spanking new one. And I know you're thinking, wait, what do you mean by three and a new one? Because this one's three. I'll talk about the old number three, okay? So there, there is an old number three as well. It's pretty much a remaster, okay? But besides that, though, that's another reason why I wouldn't have it on the channel. Because number one, I'm terrible at it. And number two, there's no content for me to really do it if I can't play the game properly. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get this started with number ten. Number ten is Cyberpunk. Now, everybody knows the story. Everybody knows it, we get the jokes, you don't need to see it all day long. I get it on my live stream every single day, Cyberpunk this, Cyberpunk 2099, Cyber 2069, 2022, 2021, 2020. We get it, okay? I know you guys love the joke, I really do, and I find it funny sometimes, but sometimes they do get a little bit annoying. I'm not saying that you guys are annoying, it's just that the comment is quite annoying. And the only thing about this, though, is why I would, you would never see me play this game is because it's broken. It's a broken game. It may not be broken on PC, understandable, but it is broken on the Xbox and it's also broken on the PlayStation. And when they do fix it, maybe I might come back and do it. I may get myself my own copy, but this time in day of age, I'm not going to. But the main thing as well, there is another reason for this game I would you never see me play it. It's because the amount of unskippable sex scenes in this game. I do not want to get demonetized by showing you guys sexual intercourse in video games on my channel. I don't want to get a strike like that. Hell no. I've had one strike a long time ago and that was involved with puking. I don't want another one. So that's another re re random reason why I don't want it on my channel. Number nine is the gambling games. Now pretty much poker, casino roulette. Anything that's involved with pure gambling. I'm telling you kids right now, and I do have a young generation who watch my channel as well. Don't gamble. I'm seriously now. You may be thinking Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh is a gamble. Yeah, it is a gamble. But as well, I can make money out of it even if I get a bad pull. I'm talking about non-fictional money. I'm talking about the FIFA points. Fake gambling games like virtual poker and everything that you don't make money out of. If you do it like in real life money, fair enough. 
go ahead and do it. Because, but be warned, it's dangerous. It's a massive, massive freaking... It's such a very addictive thing. It's an addiction, gambling, and it's very dangerous. I know a few friends who have been very, very addicted to gambling, and it's made them lose their way. But I'm not going to talk about them. I'm just saying that I don't want to fall down that aisle either. That's why I don't you don't see me play FIFA with the pack openings, because if I did that, I'd be very, very hooked into it, and I'd be buying, buying virtual packs for a stupid amount of money. Same thing with poker. I don't want to do it. So... You may find this out as well if you'll come back in my old Rage Crit, Rage Crit games on my playlist. I did a bit of poker as a, as a live stream and I only did it like one episode and then that was it. I finished with it. Because if I kept on going, i will be stuck in a dark hole. Number eight, it is the music based games. Now, don't get me wrong, love the music games. Really do. Just Dance, Sing Song, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. You, the works, pretty much all the great stuff. Now, you may be thinking, what about Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories? You played that game. That's because it had story in it. I didn't want to go ahead and just say, I'm not playing it because it's a music game. I might get copyright. Sure, some of the episodes did get copyrighted and everything. But I'm talking about the very big copyrighted songs. Like, there's Guitar or they have ACDC and everything. And you already know about ACDC. They ban everybody who plays their music. But all the other type of music type of games they are copyright to shit and i really don't want to get so many freaking strikes on my channel because of that that's why when i do lip syncing the music videos i always say that i don't own it or anything and plus i take the i take the hint but when it comes to games that have constant music on it i don't want to risk it so you get my drift love them just can't do it on this channel Number seven is any racing games. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like a bit of racing. I like watching it live. Don't really want to play it on my channel. I do love Burnout and I do love G um, Gran Turismo. But I hate the thing about it. The only thing I don't like about it is that there's no content in it. If I want to have a bit of fun, I'll go ahead and drive my own car. I don't want to go ahead and just live stream a virtual reality type of driving with you guys i even watch a youtuber who just does racing videos and he hardly gets any views which i god hope he does in the near future because he's a quite entertaining character because he's he's put a lot of a lot of work in his energetic in the racing game but the racing is just doesn't deliver any excitement to be honest that's why i'm saying there's no excitement in racing games you could say definitely to mario kart racing or crash bandicoot racing or burnout if you'd say but it's just, it's not a massive thing for me and my content for the channel. I can't make it excitement, I doubt it. So that's why I put it down a bit higher up. But now let's move on to six or up to number one. These are the ones that you'll never, ever see me play on my channel. Number six is The Last of Us Part 2. Now, I've already told you everything about what I've said about this game. I want to move on really quickly. Let's just talk a little bit of detail on it very, very quickly. Hate the story, amazing graphics, amazing controls. That's it. Amazing music as well, when it has to have it. Loved, loved The Last of Us Part 1. I really did. Number 2 though was a piece of shit and I was and I really wanted it to be burned down to the ground. And a lot of you guys do agree with me, some of you disagree with me. I just hate it. I really do and you'll never see me play it at all on this channel. Even if I, if, even if somebody paid me 5 quid to say, hell of it, I'll even give you the copy, you will still won't have me playing it. You have to pay me at least 100 quid to make me play that game. <laughs> Number five is Triple X Games. Now, you may be thinking, what do you mean by Triple X Games? I'm talking about the very, very old adult type of games. I'm talking about the ones that are highly nudity, highly sexual conduct and everything like that. Very, very sexual stuff. Pretty much pornographic type of games. Now, you may be thinking, what do you mean by pornographic games? Um, I, let me think. Uh, there's massive YouTubers who have been playing a game called Honey Pop. And I have actually have watched the very first Honey Pop game. And I was quite laughing my ass off. But I knew there is a big massive situation about that game. Kids watch these big YouTubers. And they're getting shown that. It's not a good sight for sore eyes for a lot of kids who look at... Hence the swarm. Hence the worm hentai. Or another word called lolly. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to show that to my audience, and I hopefully you guys understand what I mean. I do not want your your cute little eyes, or your manly eyes, or female eyes to look at this anymore. It's not coming down on my channel. 
Number four, I have nothing against it. It's just not for me, and that's Among Us. Among Us, I once again played it, enjoyed it for a little bit until my friends gave up on it, and then it was just me on my own. Playing it with random for, for, with randoms, I hated it. We really do because they are mainly ganging up the people who are not in their gang. So I get I get evax every second. So it does piss me off a lot. So that's main, one of the main reasons. The servers, if you're with a group, fair enough. If you're not with a group, you're not going to have a good day. So hopefully I may come back to it in the near future, probably as a proper live stream, if Among Us calls on PlayStation. I've got it's on it's on the PC, it's on the phone, and it's even on the Nintendo Switch. I'm planning on getting it on the Nintendo Switch, but I don't really have a lot of people who go on the Switch as much. All of them are mainly on the PS5 and the Xbox One. So I might pass it on. Number three is Roblox. Don't get me wrong. Can, can be a fun game for a lot of you, and a lot of you who are massive supporters on my channel are massive Roblox fans. I can tell that by your icons that, that I see when you're commenting on my channel. I know a lot of you are Roblox fans. I have nothing against you guys, really don't. I just, it's not my jam, to be honest. It's not my bread and butter, it's not my croissant with croissant and butter. It's not my freaking Victoria Sponge and Jam. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, make, make things up right now. It's just not for me, okay? It really isn't. I don't find it fun for me. I just can't make any good content out of it. Even if I did have the game, I don't think I'd play it on the channel. Number two is, once again, a massive franchise, and it's made millions on the internet. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. To be honest, I don't like Minecraft. I really don't like it. I'm not saying I hate it, because I find there's a lot, a lot of kids who love this game because it works their brain up. Fantastic, to be honest. Amazing that kids can work their brain up by playing this game, making houses and making massive things. But i rather go up in the loft and get myself my old classic Lego and make the freaking Starship Enterprise out of Lego. That's pretty much what I'm saying. I'd rather spend three hours doing Lego by making them type of models than spending three hours making a freaking house. You see where I'm coming from? So, I can't really make Minecraft very entertaining on my channel because I get extremely bored with it. So that's my main reason. For number one though, I don't want to say it's name, but there it is. The anger's coming. The anger's coming. The BBC would like to announce that the next scene is not considered suitable for family viewing. It contains scenes of violence involving people's heads and arms getting chopped off, their ears nailed to trees and their toenails pulled out in slow motion. There are also scenes of naked women with floppy breasts. And also, at one point, you can see a pair of buttons. I do apologise, audience. I had to cut that out. Make it very simple to you guys. Very, very clear and simple. Why I don't like that. Why I don't like Fortnite. It's because of the freaking servers. The servers are toxic. I've met so many people on Fortnite from the very beginning it started all the way up to now. And yeah, you may see me play Fortnite a tiny bit, only for a little bit to see if the servers are still toxic as ever, because I still have it on the Nintendo Switch. And I've never had so much toxic in my life. I'm talking about children from 5 year olds to even 13 to even 14 saying the N word so many times, then freaking, I don't know, Somebody like a massive rapper says it. It's disgusting. It really is. You have people who are homophobic on this. Racist people. You have people who diss on people because of how bad they're playing the game at. It's like, it's extremely horrible, this server of Fortnite is. If Fortnite could fix it, I'd pay them $100,000 to get this thing fixed and stop it for good. Because it's absolutely ridiculous. It really is. Fortnite could be an amazing game if the servers were really good at it. And I'm not talking about the professionals who are really good at it. I'm talking about the proper trolls of the game who say the N-word so many times. Being homophobic. Doing everything that they can to really make people feel the hurt. 
and it sickens me because I've met many kids on this game and doing absolutely the same thing I'm saying right now. It is beyond ridiculous. Where's their parents? This is what I'm saying. I'm sure the parents are in that house somewhere hearing these words out loud. I'm the, them parents should be giving them a good old ass whooping. It's ridiculous, it's disgusting. That's why I hate Fortnite. If the servers were great and respective, maybe it won't be on this list. It may be way down below. Maybe I might have played it on the channel. But to me saying, that's the main reason. Toxic as ever, you'll never see me playing it. And that's all I got really time for today, people. If there is a game that you didn't see on this list, you're very lucky. Maybe in the near future you might see me playing it on one day. For the time being though, this is my list. Fuck Fortnite.